fantasy football. Well, football, first of all, you Falcons. We have a, a, a great season so far, like a, a, something to be proud of sort of season. Like forget last week. Nobody showed up last week. But the efforts and the like the effort at trying to be a cohesive thing is looking real good this year. I'll give them that. Yes. Kirk Cousins is, is performing above and beyond. Mooney is a stud for you guys. Mooney is a stud. Bijan's is there. They they all stud Pitts. moments. Like Pitts. Yeah, man. So like Koo is like a sellout. People's like show up. Yeah. Koo is like, forget about it. But even like when he's not in, like what kind of game is that where you're hitting poles and you're missing three field? Like everybody got to be locked in on shit. Like you're still in the dome, my guy. So what's the problem? I thought they were just blowing the wind at one point because the ball went. I was like, look, at that, look at that voodoo. I'm yo, like, look at that you, voodoo. Yo, right? It was going straight. And then it went crazy. Boom. I was like, are they blowing wind? How wind? How like, wind? Would, and then, that it just ghost took it away. And then the one where he missed, <laughs> where he lost the game, he went like this. And then his kicker, his, the placeholder dude, he's going like this, looking at the placeholder dude. And the placeholder dude just goes, just walks right around him with the shoulder. I was like, oh, it's... I dropped him. I dropped him from all fantasy teams, including, are you already no fantasy team? I dropped his ass. Wow. Dropped him. Cool, you're fucking out of here, bro. You can't wow. keep doing this. And then the guy I picked up, not in our fantasy league, the guy on our team got 24. The guy in my t- league that I had to pay to get in got me two. And Koo got eight. So, God damn it, Koo, he finds a way to fuck me in the afterlife. <laughs> he, 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 God damn it, Koo. God damn it, Koo. You know what? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you something. This is exemplary uh. of, 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 of of my fantasy season. And I think you need to see this right now. And so you can understand the pain that I've been <laughs> going through, but not in our you already know league. Are you already know league? We are the, the best that ever happened. We are the we are God's gift to, to man and fantasy. But in this one. Oh, bro, it it it's painful, man. It's painful. All right. So basically, uh, let me share these here. All right, boom, boom. Here we go. All right. So fantasy football has been a very interesting uh thing this year. Thus far, um, I have two leagues. I have one league. Uh, that I'm doing with uh, some buddies that that my buddy brought me into his, his buddy league, and then I have our own. Oh, we when we enter in with random people that we don't know, and our team's called Dominating Civilians. Right mm-hmm. now, Dominating Civilians, bright news, good news. We only have two losses. We have an insane team. Let me read you this lineup that I've been playing for us every week, even though we have been potting. You know it all. We've been having a week. Oh, by the way, they just showed us that we won this week. Look at that. Look at that glitter Look coming that. down, baby. Look at that. 146 <laughs> to 81. We slapped them with our penis. Pause. Like, Pause. straight up. <laughs> <laughs> so, in this one, we are we are 6-2 and because I started the thing two weeks late. It is what it is. Uh, our team is incredible. We have Baker and Bo Nix on the quarterback. Crazy. We have Going A Chain in. Jones and Camara and JK Dobkins and Brian Robinson Jr. All the running back. Now, our wide receivers, we have Jennings, neighbors, Malik Neighbors, Jawan Jennings. We have uh Bateman and Cedric Tillman and Jamison Williams. Tight end, we have Kate Otten and Tucker Kraft, Steelers defense, and we have Boswell as the kicker. Now, our wide receiving court was way better than this. What happened was this year we have, I am an omen for bad wide receiving because I've not only in two leagues, I and us have had Rashid Shaheed, Rashi Rice, Rashi Rice, Chris Godwin, Nico Collins, and Stefan Giggs in two leagues all get injured and go down. That's tough. You understand what kind of fighting I've had to do every week on waivers? Yeah. I lost week to week. I've lost, I've lost three times the number one wide receiver. 
And, <laughs> is that because people are falling on their legs? Why are they getting hurt like that? These motherfuckers are like the life alert. They fall in and they can't get up, man. It's a lot of non-contact injuries. All of them, non-contact injuries, which are the worst. When a dude just starts running, he's like, oh, Twitch. And you're like, no, what happened? Oh, and you're Twitch. Like, Yup, no, he sprained his ACL. ACL gone. Uh, hamstring gone. MCL torn. What the fuck? I'm screaming at the TV. Yo, get up, bro. Yo, hit him with the shot. And then I realized these are grown men who have problems and families and contracts. And I'm a sick, degenerate fuck. It is what it is, man. We're yeah. all we're all watching the exact same things unfold and hoping for not those outcomes. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> nobody wants to see nobody get hurt, especially when we know what they're capable of doing. Like real playmakers were on display this last week. There's some real, like real, like solid playmaker action last week. It was, it was cool to see like incredible Ed's game. And like, I watched Devonte Adams make a big difference. You know, oh yeah. Difference maker and shout out to Brees, two touchdowns, like going in. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I get it. And to try to line all those things up, it's 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 tough. And it's week in and it's week out. I can't imagine, like, being an owner that's actually passionate about football, having your hands tied in so many different ways. It's got to be a headache. Like, the Jets owners who brought us to the game and sitting with them, getting to know them and their family and their wonderful people. And, like, we just keep going to the games, you know, for the last couple of years because – Shit, the first time I went, I met Joe Namath. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I guess I'm a fucking Jets fan. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not a <laughs> test fans like that. I'm a Falcons fan. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, so I'm just kind of watching everybody. So I'm like, yeah, I'll fuck with the Jets. Why not? Especially since they're being, everybody's being so nice. You know what I mean? It was so cordial. Of blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, yeah, I'm actually getting to know these people and shit. So I actually sat there and like watched the game, like standing next to this guy. And like, I'm like asking him, like, what is it like? What is this like? And like, he's telling me like, hey, I'm trying to, you know what I mean? I got more talent than ever, but it's not winning. You know what I'm saying? And blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, that's probably the bound, the baseline, you know, frustrations kind of shit. Past that is like negotiating this, negotiating that, availability this. And like, you know, <laughs> proper behavior that and like all kinds of shit to try to juggle and keep in the air so i can imagine like if you actually give a fuck about the team you own give them their credit you know what i mean because they are eyeballing and watching so many different facets of life to put on this perf entertaining thing for the local fans to come out and fight that traffic every single week or every week there's a home game and like actually dedicate time towards going to that stadium and sitting and watching that show. You know what I mean? It's a performance, if you will. And so it's certain so late, you know what I'm saying? But there's only, you know, the tent is only so big and certain so late. The tents for fucking the NFL is massive. Massive. Stadiums are massive. And then <laughs> offset of that is some fucking music artist that can just sell the rest of the days. You know what I mean? But there's not there's only so many things that are that scale. So, yeah, those people like are under a lot of pressure. I didn't necessarily love the look when they all came out and made a speech about Kaepernick's behavior. And then you actually got to see that it's like 98 percent white. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, whatever it is, what it is. And you take the individual as the individual as you meet them and blah, blah, blah. And from what I can see, the Johnson family is cool. So. Shout out to them, I guess. Yeah. Rest in peace, Casey Johnson. I knew her back in the day. 